Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about pass transistor logic. In the previous videos, we have seen transmission gate which consisting of a parallel connection of CMOS and NMOS. Uh, and the advantage of transmission gate was it gives you 100% output voltage swing. Because while we are connecting the parallel connection of NMOS and PMOS, the positive threshold voltage of the PMOS uh, and a negative threshold is voltage of the NMOS, these two get cancelled when they are equal so that it gives you the 100% output voltage swing. But in the case of pass transistor logic, pass transistor, it is just a transistor, it may be either NMOS transistor or a PMOS transistor with input on left hand side and output Y on the right hand side with a control input at the gate terminal, with a control input at the gate terminal. So that Y is equal to, okay, it may be A is connected at the source terminal and Y may be connected at the drain terminal okay y is equal to a y is equal to a when control input when control input is equal to logic high or vdd control input is equal to vdd and it is equal to open circuit open circuit is nothing but high impedance state or we can uh, we can write high impedance high impedance and it may be shown with uh, letter z when control input is equal to logic 0 is equal to logic 0 nothing but 0 volts okay here it is logic 1 okay so the output voltage is completely depending on the control input if control input allows the gate to pass the input to the output then output is equal to input whatever we are giving Otherwise, it is simply the high impedance state or open circuit voltage, open circuit. Okay. Now, if as it is NMOS transistor, this is the case. Suppose if it is a PMOS transistor, the cases are altered. Y is equal to A when control input is equal to 0 and Y is equal to high impedance state when control input is equal to VDD. So, that is the difference between PMOS and NMOS. Now, do we get 100% output voltage in this pass transistor or not? okay definitely not because whenever we are giving a logic high when a logic high is connected to the nmos transistor when control input is equal to 1 what happens when this condition the transistor is in on state so it is connected to 1 means it comes into on state so on state transistor is represented by its equivalent resistance on resistance equivalent on resistance on resistance of the transistor this is nothing but on resistance of the transistor on resistance of the transistor is calculated by multiplying the sheet resistance and the pull up to pull down ratio z okay generally the on resistance is calculated as z into rs z into rs rs is the sheet resistance RH, rs is the sheet resistance which is calculated ohm per square which is calculated in terms of ohm per square and z is nothing but pull up to pull down ratio nothing but l by w square okay so that it gives you the ohms now r on is the internal resistance when this transistor and mos transistor is said to be non-state now here a and on this side here we have y here a here y now whenever the vdd is applied here and this is output y so how can you write output y through a transistor so y is equal to as we are applying some potential on the left hand side some current passes through this one that current is id some current passes through this on resistance so y is equal to r on into id R on into ID that is the resistance voltage that is the voltage across the resistance otherwise we can write voltage across resistance VR 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 is nothing but voltage across resistance voltage across resistance that is VR is equal to ID into R on as yes, current is there 
and resistance is there so definitely some voltage drop across rr now how can you write y so that output voltage output voltage y is equal to total input supply voltage vdd minus some drop drop across the resistance so vdd minus id into r on id into r on this is the voltage what do you mean by id into r on in terms of transistor potential so in terms of transistor potential transistor is nothing but cmos transistor transistor potential this id r on is known as is known as because this is id r on is because of the existence of transistor is known as threshold voltage threshold voltage threshold voltage is nothing but vt as it is nmos transistor vtl threshold voltage of the nmos transistor is nothing but this is the minimum voltage required for the transistor to switch on so definitely this voltage will be stopped across the transistor so we can write y is equal to vdd minus vtm vdd minus vtm this is the available voltage otherwise in general terms y is equal to v input minus vd vtn okay whatever we are giving at the input whatever we are giving at the input if input is equal to vdd if it, it is vdd minus vtn if input is equal to zero simply it is minus vtn okay so this is the complete internal analysis of the fast transistor logic fast transistor logic now what is the use of fast transistor logic the main application of the fast transistor is to create logic gates fast transistor is used to create logic gates fast transistor is used to create logic gates suppose consider for example uh, first one and creation and gate how to create and operation using a fast transistor logic very simple just taking two nmos transistors nmos transistor we can create a and gate operation see here this is one fast transistor this is another fast transistor fast transistor is nothing but taking the transistor in horizontal manner here it is a input and here it is b input here the input is zero and here it is b bar b bar and these two ends are connected together and gives you the function f function f that gives you a into b and operation see whenever this b is 1 listen carefully when b is equal to 1 in the first transistor when b is equal to 1 output is equal to a when b is equal to 1 output is equal to a when b is equal to 0 output equal to 0 hope you understand see b is equal to 0 means output equal to 0 because 0 into a 0 b is equal to 1 output is equal to a so that means we can write the output here as a into b and this coming coming to the second nmos transistor it is 0 and it is b bar as it is if it is 0 output is 0 0 into 0 if it is 1 then also it is zero transistor is open circuited then it is also zero so whatever may be the output is simply zero okay see always the output of a pass transistor we can write the multiplication of the two input voltages control input and as well as the original input okay so simply a b plus zero that is equal to a b and coming to r operation r operation r is nothing but a plus b r is equal to a plus b so how can you write a plus b same see take two transistors again first transistor input is b bar control input is b bar and it is a and here it is b and one it is logic one 1 
these two are connected output is yes see you, you can create and operation or operation by changing the input potentials okay uh, in the same logic circuit you can connect b here you can connect b here and a here then also it works like and operation okay it is not uh, mandatory to connect exactly in the same way <coughs> you can connect in any way but the output operation should be satisfied okay in my view i'm just explaining like this so now it is what is happening here i told you the output of any pass transistor is nothing but multiplication of two input potentials then it is a into b bar and here it is b b into 1 b so f is equal to a b bar plus b and this is equivalent to a plus b r operation if you want if you have any doubt you can take the logic truth table of this one and this one then both are satisfied okay uh, we have a simplified simplification in the boolean expression a b bar plus b is nothing but a plus b okay other than this and operation and or operation we can also create simple multiplexer operation also multiplexer is also designed by using this simple pass transistor logic let us see how this multiplexer is going to be designed third multiplexer multiplexer let us consider the size 2 by 1 so 2 by 1 multiplexer <laughs> what is the basic logic diagram this is the 2 by 1 multiplexer two inputs are there a b with one select line yes then y is equal to a into c a works when s is equal to 0 and b works when s is equal to 1 it is a selection line so a s bar plus b into s this is the expression for the 2 by 1 multiplexer we know this very well so when s is equal to 0 when selection line is equal to 0 output is equal to a isn't it if you substitute s is equal to 0 then b is gone and a is equal to 1 a into 1 so y is equal to a and when s is equal to 1 a is gone and y is equal to b okay so that's why it is a s bar plus b s now the same can be designed very simply using the two nmos transistors just we are taking the same structure but we are changing the inputs y see here it is one transistor it is another transistor what we need a into s bar so a s bar is connected here and the here b s so it is a s bar and it is b s so that is equal to a s bar plus b into s so we are taking one s input that x input is connected with a not gate here and with a direct uh, point here okay I, I am not showing a not gate again here just directly connecting the inputs okay so in this way fast transistor is really help to helpful to design any logic circuit okay Thank you.